previously on the Great Australian Spelling Bee. A boa constrictor! Fears were faced. Congratulations, you got guts. As the blue team won immunity. Alacrity. Correct. You are safe for another week. Tonight. Drop the curtain. It's every child's dream come true. White chocolate, dark chocolate. It's just that is a lolly wonderland. Oh my gosh. But it could be bittersweet. The word is shortening. Oh, no, I made a mistake. No. As four more young spellers. M O N O P L Y. Incorrect. Are facing elimination. These words, they're getting harder. Beauteous. It's okay. I don't mind. Get this far, top 16 is just an amazing achievement. Welcome back. I know that if I keep spelling like I have been, I have the potential to possibly be the champion. It's starting to get a bit serious now, isn't it? Yes. There's only 12 of you spelling today because Team Blue spelt their way to immunity last time. And they don't even have to spell today as a result. Can you hear them backstage celebrating? <laughs> It also means they stay in a competition for another week. Because at the end of today, sadly, four of you will be leaving the Great Australian Spelling Bee, OK? Four people are going to leave, and that's going to be really hard because everybody's friends with everybody. And because there's less of us, there's actually a higher chance that one of the people that I'm close with is going to go home. All right, spellers, it's time to get spelling. Good luck, guys. OK, spellers, it's the spell gate. Which means your first challenge is... Speed spell! Spot on. 45 seconds to spell as many words as you can. All our words are chosen by Macquarie, Australia's national dictionary. The words are selected randomly and are of equal difficulty. We're looking for the top four spellers, OK? If you're one of them, you are safe and you won't have to spell again. If you're not, you could be going home. OK, this has become a lot more real. I don't want to get eliminated, so I really, really, really want to be in that top four. Marco, you're up first. <laughs> All right, here we go, Marco. Marco has done really well in, yeah, last uh, in time the got speed 10. spell. So well. Everyone reckons I'm the king of speed spell. There was a lot of pressure on me. But I know what I'm doing and I'm ready to go. Pronouncer, Marco's first word. The word is genuine. Genuine. G-E-N-U-I-N-E. -E, genuine. Agility. Agility. A-G-I-L-I-T-Y. -I Agility. Leisure. Leisure. L-E-I-S-U-R-E. Leisure. Versify. Versify. V-E-R-S-I-F-Y. Versify. Monopoly. Monopoly. M-O-N-O-P-L-Y. Monopoly. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is M-O-N-O-P-O-L-Y. Monopoly. Oh, he went too fast. Oh, there were so many O's. It was confusing. Marco, what do you think got the better of you then? Um, well, I knew the word. I just rushed through it and I missed out on the O at the end. So, yeah, I was looking for a 10. Um, the standard of the spelling, I was amongst some very strong spellers, so the pressure was sort of on me to get a high score. So you knew you had to dial up the speed to try and make this count? Yes. OK. Marco, let's take a look at the leaderboard now and see what that means for you. Four correct words in 15.54 seconds. First time, really, that I've stumbled in speed spell. Yeah, it's just a disappointing thought, you know. Marco, take a seat. Marco, you did incredible. I've really got to keep my head high now um, because I know that if I be down in dumps for the rest of the day, I'm not going to perform at my best. Next up, Papita, let's go. Today, I'm going to try and 
not use my normal technique on my hand because I knew it would definitely slow me down because my finger does not work as fast as my mouth. Hopefully it works. Pronouncer? The word is dissect. Dissect. D-I-S-S-E-C-T. Dissect. Virtual. Virtual. B-I-R-T-U-A-L. Virtual. Archery. Archery. A-R-C-H-E-R-Y. Archery. Parapet. Parapet. P-A-R-A-P-E-T. Parapet. Wow. She's fast. Trombone. Trombone. T-R-O-M-B-O-N-E. Trombone. Upstairs. Upstairs. U-P-S-T-A-I-R-S. Upstairs. Obliging. Obliging. O-B-L-I-G-I-N-G. Obliging. Activist. Activist. A-C-T-I-V-I-S-T. Activist. Forestry. Forestry. F-O-R-E-S-T-R-Y. Forestry. <gasps> She can say the time. Disaster. Disaster. D-I-S-A-S-T-E-R. Disaster. Time's up. She did nine or ten. She did nine or ten. You have to see. Are you ready to have a look at the leaderboard? Yes. Okay, here it is. Pizza. Nine words in 41.28 seconds. You know what? That puts you right at the top. That last word you just missed out on by a nanosecond, yeah. but you know what? Nine. Well done. Take a seat. That's five. Keep going. Pronouncer. A word, please. Regency. Regency. R E G E N C Y. Regency. Epithet. Epithet. E P I T H E T. Epithet. Holly, let's go. Holly! Music SD. Universe. Universe. U-N-I-V-E-R-C-E. That. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is U-N-I-V-E-R-S-E. Universe. Mystery. That is incorrect. Manicure. Incorrect. How? D-O-G-M-A-T-I-C, dogmatic. M-U-L-T-I-P-L-Y, multiply. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Of ten correct words. Amanda, you're next. M-E-R-C-I-F-U-L, Mosfull. S-T-R-A-T-I-F-Y, stratify. D-E-F-I-N-I-T-E, definite. Oh, oh my God! Bang! Straight to the top of the go. Oh, wow. I wonder if it's possible to get more than ten. I don't reckon. I, yeah, I think so. Jai, you're next. There's nothing normal about this kind of experience, let's face it. I mean, it's not like an everyday thing. I mean, it's feeling a bit more normal for, to me. <laughs> but it really is, at the end of the day, a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Yeah, it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And you're enjoying it? Yeah, very much. Let's step into the spell game. <laughs> OK, Jai, let's spell. Pronounce her the first word. The word is... Stumble. Stumble. S T U M B L E. Stumble. Decider. Decider. D E C I D E R. Decider. Glisten. Glisten. G L I S T E N. Glisten. Kinetic. Kinetic. K I N E T I C. Kinetic. He's going a bit more slower because he knows he'll trip up. Yeah. Salivate. S A L I V A T E. Salivate. Corporal. Corporal, C-O-R-P... O-R-A-L, corporal. Appetite. Appetite, A-P-P-E-T-I-T-E, -E. appetite. Peaceful. Peaceful, P-E-A-C-E-F-U-L, peaceful. Solidify. Solidify, S-O-L-I-D-I-F-Y, solidify. I'm done. That's great. the first time he actually finished it, he's completing the course. Before you even start thinking about how many correct words you get, it's nice to know that you can sort of get to the end of the time, yeah. isn't it? And it's not just seconds makes a difference in here. It's like milliseconds yeah, makes I know, a difference in here. Or even nanoseconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready to have a look at the leaderboard? Yes. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh. Jai, eight correct words. That means you have just jumped up into the top four. Getting eight in such a good time. And I'm in the top four. That was my personal best. Really awesome effort, Jai. Take a oh. seat. I hope I can just...
stain top four. Thanks. Mika, you're our last speller. The Mika Nader, she's up. The last position. Most pressure or least pressure, do you think? Most. Yep. Mika. We're looking for nine words, or if you get eight, it's got to be in under 40.74 seconds to get yourself inside the top four. Can you do it? Hopefully. It's clear to me what I have to do now. I have to get in the top four because it'll take a lot of pressure off my shoulders. But at the same time, getting into the top four means the Jai is going to be pushed out. Let's go. really bad about this. Mika, if you get eight words, it's got to be in under 40.74 seconds to get yourself inside the top four. I'm really worried. Getting into the top four means the Jai is going to be pushed out. And I feel really bad about this. Let's go. The word is royalty. Royalty. R-O-Y-A-L-T-Y, royalty. Nucleus. Nucleus. N-U-C-L-E-U-S, nucleus. Erosion. Erosion. E-R-O-S-I-O-N, erosion. Appease. Appease. A-P-P-E-A-S-E, appease. Handicap. Handicap. H-A-N-D-I-C-A-P, handicap. Numerous. Numerous. N-U-M-E-R-O-U-S, numerous. One thing you're not. Giant. Critical. Critical. C R I T I C A L. Critical. Rigorous. Rigorous. R I G O R O U S. Rigorous. Aromatic. Aromatic. A R O M A T I C. Aromatic. Forensic. Forensic. F O R E N S I C. Forensic. Parasite. Time's up. What do you think Mum's thinking right now? Um, I think she's just thinking, please let her, please let her be in the top four. <laughs> that was quite an amazing display of spelling. Do you think you're safe? Hopefully, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. You scored 10 correct words in 44.42. You know what? Third position, you are inside the top three. Awesome. Take a seat. Fine. You know what? I've still got two chances to go, so I'm just going to high-five myself and stay positive. So at the end of Speed Spell, the four safe spellers are Apita, Mika, Carl and Amanda. So the four of you guys are safe. Pressure is now off. You guys can head backstage and relax right now. Job well done. I just can't believe it. I feel ecstatic. I've only got like seven words. It's like I'm a fizzy drink and then I've been blocked up for a while and then I feel like I'm about to explode with happiness. How do you think Harpit's going to go without you? Pretty okay, maybe. I'm not really sure. You looked very sad when you were you were coming back here and yeah. you had to keep on playing. I couldn't believe it. I've made it safe. I'm just hoping Kapit's going to get through this because staying together is so important to us. Come on over, Spellers. I've walked in and I see this big curtain. I'm thinking, what? Behind the curtain. You know what, guys? Just take a big, deep breath for me and tell me if you can smell anything. No. <laughs> no. no. You know what I can smell? What? Pure awesomeness. From us? <laughs> yeah, definitely from us. Keep thinking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's also behind there? Are you guys ready to find out? Yes! yes. Drop the curtain! There's Marshmallow Mountain. There's the chocolate Matterhorn over there. White chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate. 
There's lollies galore on there. Oh my god, Harpin's just like, let me at it. There's a rocky road road. <laughs> I don't know, rocky road road. Oh, that is yummy. everything oh. dreams are made of. So the chocolatiers at Daryl Lee put that together for you. How amazingly magical is this? Oh. It's so beautiful. I would eat everything. No, I would eat everything before you. Can anybody tell me what the category is? Lollies and sweets. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> okay. The special category of words you're going to be spelling is related to sweet things. And to decide who's going to spell against who, you go grab yourselves a no! lollipop and look for a letter. Oh, this one. I got a C. Who got a D? I got a C. Stuart. Ah, OK, I want a line of blue on this side and a line of red on this side. A's at the front, then B's, then C's, and so on. You know how to do it. I want you to look at the speller standing opposite you. That is who you're going to be spelling against. I got the same letter as Jai. I was glad that I wasn't versing Amy because we're really good friends. But I think Jai is really accurate at spelling. I felt a bit intimidated. So, things are a little bit different this time. Today, there are two rounds in flashcards. The winners in the first round will spell again in the second round. And the winners in the second round will be safe. Everybody else will go into the final challenge, the spelling bee. Jai and Grace, let's go. <laughs> You've got 10 seconds to write the word on the flashcard in front of you. You ready? Yes. OK, let's spell. Pronounce a, a word. The word is moose. A food made of whipped cream and beaten eggs. Ready? Spell. Jai's done. Grace is done. In under time. Grace? Happy? Yes. Please reveal your flashcard. That is correct. Well done, Grace. Please drive. Please hold yours up. That is correct. <laughs> Pronounce the next word. The word is profiterole. A small ball of pastry cooked, then filmed with cream, jam, cheese or the like. Profiterole. Ready? Spell. Jai, you look really uncertain. Um, I'm not exactly sure um, about it, but I hope I spelt it right. Jai, can you reveal your flashcard to the pronouncer, please? That is... incorrect. <sighs> ah, the double T. So close. Comes down to you then, Grace. Get this right, you're into the next round of flashcards. Please reveal it to the pronouncer. That is correct. Good on, guys. One T and so it was just down to the T's, was it, Jai? You took a chance, it didn't quite pay off. We're going to see you in Spelling Bee. Time to head back to the Speller Zone. Thank you, mate. Thank you for playing. It doesn't matter. I've still got another chance to survive. It's good. Awesome. Well spelled, Grace. You're into the second round now. Head over to that hexagon. I felt so good because I was going on to the next round of flashcards. Next up, Amy Harpeth. The word is connoisseur. Correct. <laughs> wow, Harpeth, I'm going to see you in the final challenge of Spelling Bee. Head over to the Speller Zone, mate. Amy, well spelt. You're into the second round. Holly, Grace, you're next. The word is streusel. <laughs> Lightning fast. Well, let's see if you're right. That is correct. Grace, I'll see you in round two. The word is shortening. 
no, I made a mistake. Oh. Time's up. Stuart, please reveal your flashcard to the pronouncer. That is incorrect. Marco. Correct. Well done, Marco. You're going to head on to round two. Okay, Amy, Grace, Grace and Marco, time for round two now. Grace, so you'll be spelling against Marco. Amy, you'll be spelling against Grace. It's not going to be each other. I'm going against my best friend in the competition right now and it's really hard. I'm really just mixed emotions. Amy, Grace, please step forward. I mean that only one of us could win. But I don't want Amy to go out because of me. Because she's a really good friend. Only one of you can spell your way to safety right now. Coming up, who will face the final spelling bee? Time for round two now. Now remember, only one of you can spell your way to safety right now. Amy, this is a scenario that you didn't really want to happen. Why is that? Me and Grace are best friends and we just didn't want to have to compete against each other. So it's kind of like an awkward situation. You really want yourself to progress in the competition. However, you're staring straight into your friend's face. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Guess so. Pronouncer, their word. The word is mangosteen, the juicy edible fruit of a tropical Asian resin yielding tree. Ready? Spell. Five seconds. Amy's done. So too is Grace. How do we both feel about the word? Um, I think it's right. That is... correct. <laughs> Amy, please reveal your flashcard to the pronouncer. That is... incorrect. Bad luck, Amy. We'll be seeing you in the final challenge, the spelling bee, so head over to the speller zone and join the others right now. Really wonderful attempt, Amy. Say goodbye to your friend, Grace. Thank you. Thank you. When I know Grace is safe, I'm really happy for her. You don't need to spell again today, Grace. Really well done. I'm very scared going into the last spelling bee because I always psych myself out and I get nervous and I forget everything and then I get a mind blank and then I lose. I've just really got to try my hardest today and if I don't, I'm out. Grace, Marco, it's your turn. I was like, he knows a lot. So it was like, you can beat Marco, no you can't. You can beat Marco, no you can't. <laughs> In the end, my body came to the decision that maybe I could would beat Marco, but it wasn't for sure. We ready? Yeah. I'm up against Grace D, who is a very worthy opponent. I've really got to perform at my best. Pronouncer, their word. The word is delicatessen, a shop which sells a variety of foods, including cheeses, cold meats, and other prepared goods. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy, but it's a really long to write. Ready? Spell. Five seconds, Grace is done. Time's up. He was right on yeah, the timer. Right. That was a little close, Marco. It was just, um, it was a lengthy word, so I had to fit in within 10 seconds. Have you managed to get it? I think I have. Please reveal your flashcard. That is correct. Good work, Marco. You're good, Grace. 
better be at yours. Correct. Pronouncer. Next word. Treacle. A dark, sticky liquid made from sugar. Spell. Grace is very fast. Marco, looking for perfection. Grace, please reveal your flashcard to the pronouncer. That is correct. Marco? <laughs> correct. Excellent. Let's head into another round. The word is sustenance. Nourishment gained from what you eat. Sustenance. Ready? Spell. And time is up. Marco. There was one letter that I was thought I might trip up on in the middle. Which letter might that be? Um, it went sustenance. I didn't know if it was an I or an E. Let's find out from the pronouncer right now. That is incorrect. Everything is in Grace's court right now. Grace, have you got it right? I think I have. You do get it right. You are safe. And you won't have to spell again. You ready? Yeah. That is correct. Congratulations, Grace. Marco, it was your first attempt, so we should be fairly happy with that. It was an awesome fight to the very end between you two. It's time for you to join your friends over in the Speller Zone. We'll see you in the final challenge, the Spelling Bee. That's what, Grace. Up next. Good boy, Marco. What a good boy. He's, he's very sportsmanlike. He is, isn't he? You love being safe, don't you? It makes everything so much easier. It's a great feeling, but it's sort of a bad feeling too because you know that Marco might not um, be able to continue with this, um, in the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Forget about what happened this morning. Just concentrate now. Sam. OK. Cool. I'm so proud of you. You're such a gentleman. I haven't actually experienced Spinal Spelling Bee before, so I don't really know what to expect. I could go home. About it. You'll be all right, mate. You've done so well. So proud of you, OK? Thanks. Just be yourself, yeah? yeah. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, this thanks. is what you love to do. Yeah. yeah? That's your okay, strength. Thank you. Yeah. Keep cool. Keep yourself cool. Go out there, have fun, have a good time. Yep, because you love spelling. And that's what it's all about. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Even though I didn't become safe in flashcards, I know that I can do better. I can still save myself. I'm Stuart and I'm 10, and I live in beautiful tropical towns. So the thing you got to watch out for in Townsville is box jellyfish. When I was three years old, I used the letters on the fridge to make words and then I learned how to spell. He's you know, a loving big brother. He looks, looks after his sister and his brother. And uh, he's great at spelling, but he's good at lots of other things as well. Just do your best, OK? Have fun. Love you very much. Spelling's important to me because my mum's a primary school teacher. Um, centrifugal. Centrifugal. She helps me with my spelling. She's basically taught me everything and I want to be a teacher like her. you just got to take your time. you just got to do what you think. You can only do your best. And if you get a word you don't know, just try. You'll be fine. All right, super spellers, it is time to spell. Have a little last minute cuddle. And remember that you are in the top 16 young spellers in this country. I mean, already your achievements are absolutely incredible. Go out there and show us all how brilliant you are. Do I get a low high five, Huppy? Yep. Good man. Are you got your hearing aids turned right up? Yep. Yeah. You don't want to go on with them to the town. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit scared about the spelling bee, but it doesn't matter. Focus on it now and not what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Jibe. Oh, am I going to get a cuddle through you?
Coming up... This is it, Spellers. Let's do this. Which four young Spellers will be leaving the competition? Mediocre. Can I please have the definition? Oh, this one feels high stakes, doesn't it? The word is esoteric. Oh, esoteric. I'd literally never heard of it. You know what? I'm a good speller. I still have a chance. Let's do this. Now I can hear how Peter are talking in mind. She just says I need to do a good job. That to all of us stay focused and not get eliminated. This is it, spellers. The spelling bee. You know how it works. We're looking for the top two spellers. Which unfortunately means four of you will not be continuing in the competition. Hey, Stuart, what do you think has surprised you about your time in the Great Australian Spelling Bee? I thought I was an, in an incredible speller. These guys are, like, better than incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been happy with your own spelling? Yes. And you should be too. Now, Marco, this is new for you, being here in the final challenge, Spelling Bee, isn't it? Um, yes, I haven't been in any team spelling bees or individual, so it will be interesting to see what happens. Well, well done, everybody. I am very impressed by all of you. <laughs> Remember, it's only the top two spellers here that will be safe. You are spelling for your place in the top 12 of the Great Australian Spelling Bee right now. Best of luck. You ready, Stuart? Yeah. Please step forward. This one feels high stakes, doesn't it? Pronounce it. Stuart's first word. The word is... Acronym. Acronym. A... C... R... O... N... Y... M. Acronym. That is... Correct. Wonderful work, Stuart. Take a seat. I think he holds his breath after that is. <laughs> now for the man who's a rookie in this particular challenge. Marco, come forward. You've mastered a few challenges so far. How are you feeling? Um, pretty confident. Best of luck. Thanks. Pronouncer, Marco's first word. The word is... Gerbera. Gerbera. Could I please have its definition? A type of flower like a large daisy. Gerbera. Gerbera. G E R B E R A. Gerbera. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Marco. Take a seat. Hafeef, your turn. Now, he likes this, doesn't he? Yeah. This is his thing. Two successful spelling attempts so far. If you make a mistake, you will be leaving the competition. Good luck. Pronouncer, Hafeef's first word. The word is mediocre. I can't read his face. Yeah, it's, sometimes it is, I think... concealing now. It's yeah. not showing. Yes. Mediocre. M E D I O C R E. Mediocre. That is correct. Jai, please come forward. Hi, Jai. Pronouncer, Jai's first word. The word is beauteous. 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 B 
B-E-A-U-T-E-O-U-S. Beauteous. That is correct. Thanks, sir. Well done. <laughs> we would have put it <laughs> Holly, you're up. I was nervous, but watching the other spells, some of those words were spellable. I think I can do it. Pronounce a Holly's first word. The word is privilege. Could I please have a definition? A special right or advantage enjoyed by only a limited number of people. Privilege. I'm trying to picture whether it's privilege or privilege. The voice in my head's going E I E I E I. Could I please have an origin? Latin. Privilege. P R I V E L I G E. Privilege. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is P R I V I L E G E privilege. Holly, so very close. I knew the word, I just got mucked up. You're one of the best spellers in the entire country. And that is something to be exceptionally proud of. Really well done. I think of this experience, the best part was making all the friends. I'm one of the top 16 spellers in Australia. It's just like more than incredible. Okay, Amy, let's go. Ready? Let's spell. Pronouncer, Amy's first word. The word is revolution. Can I please have a definition? The complete overthrow of an established government or political system. Revolution. Revolution. R E V O L U T I O N. Revolution. That is correct. Really well done, Amy. Exquisite job. Take a seat. The pronounces is correct, and I'm like, yay! I know I'm into the next round, so it's relieved. Round two, spellers. Five of you left. We're looking for two places to move on to the top 12. Stuart, come forward. Ready? Yes. Pronouncer. Stuart's second word. The word is idyllic. Idyllic. I D Y L I C. Idyllic. That is. Incorrect. The correct spelling is I D Y L L I C. Idyllic. You're not out of the competition just yet. Please take a seat. We still have to wait to see how the other spellers go. Don't worry. I know that I can do better. I can still save myself. I will give it my all. Marco, you're next. Ready? Yes. Pronouncer Marco's next word. The word has two pronunciations. Freca or Fracas. I had no idea about this word. Fracas. F R A could I please have the definition? A noisy disturbance or fight. Um, could I please have the origin of the word? The origin is French. May I start again? Yes, you may. F R A 
C U S fracas. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is F R A C A S fraca or fracas. Great effort for not knowing. Okay, Marco, take a seat. Still into the chance. Next time, and we'll be firing, ready to go. Papith, you're next. <laughs> Pronouncer Harpeet's next word. There are two pronunciations. Panache or panache. Can I please have a definition? A stylish way of doing things, panache. Can I have the origin of the word? French from Italian. That is correct. Uh, Pete, how did writing that on your hand help you in that situation? Well, with the word panache, when I asked the origin, he said French. And then I thought panache is like ganache because it sounds the same. Well, with that manoeuvre, you are one step closer to being in our top 12 in the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Well done. Take a seat. Jai, if you get this correct, that means Marco and Stuart will no longer be a part of the competition. I was just biting my nails. If you make a mistake, Papith is definitely safe. Jai, please come forward. <laughs> Pronouncer, a new word for Jai. There are two pronunciations. Esoteric or esoteric. It's okay. Oh, I don't know. Esoteric. I'd literally like never heard of it. E S E. Oh, oh it's wrong. T E. R-I-C, esoteric. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is E-S-O-T-E-R-I-C, esoteric. Try, you know how to be yet, OK? Please take a seat. You know what this means, Harpeth? You are definitely safe. You are in our top 12 of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. I was feeling like so shocked and I feel proud of myself and happy. Take a position over here in this hexagon next to Amy because you are through to the next stage of the competition. I think it was really cool. I'm off to the top 12. Amy. If you spell this correctly, you are into our top 12 as well. If you make a mistake, we all go through to another round and we spell again. Please come forward. This is my chance to save myself. I'm just going to try my hardest, but I've also got quite a few nerves in me. At the moment, the fate of Jai, Marco and Stuart rests in the hands of Amy. I'm not sure how this is going to go down at all. Pronouncer, Amy's Next word. The word is... The word is... Couscous. Can I have a side definition? A type of grain originating in North Africa, often cooked with spices and meat or vegetables. Couscous. Couscous. 
C A U C U S C U S C U S. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is C O U S C O U S couscous. Tricky word, Amy. Yeah. You're still in this. Take a seat. Jai, Marco, and Stuart have been thrown a lifeline as we head into another round now. Stuart, come forward. Here we go, lady. Here we are again. Round three. Yes. Pronouncer. Another word for Stuart. The word is tambourine. Tambourine. T A M B O R I N E. Tambourine. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is T A M B O U R I N E, tambourine. Stuart, once again, take a seat. Marco, if you get your word correct, Stuart, you will be leaving the competition. Marco. Is this different to how you thought it might be? Um, very different. In what way? Um, the words are significantly harder. Best of luck. Thank you. Pronouncer. Next word for marker. The word is beneficial. Beneficial. Get this one. Beneficial. B E N. E F I C I A L beneficial. That is correct. After I get beneficial correct, I know that whatever happens now, I'm not going out because it will go to another round if everyone else spells it right. Stuart, sorry, you will be leaving the competition. It was game over for me, but I was pretty proud of how well I did in this competition. Jai, your turn. Jai, you have to get this right to stay in the competition. Pronouncer, the next word for Jai. The word is. Precipice. Hard word. Yeah. Precipice. If he gets the definition, can I please have the definition? A very steep cliff. Precipice. Can I please have the origin? French from Latin. This is hard. Precipice. P. R. E. I have no idea. C. I. P. U. S. Precipice. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is P R E C I P I C E. Precipice. Jai. Sadly, it means that you will be leaving the competition. Take a seat. I felt good knowing that I came this far. Top 16, amazing. I mean, we're all amazing spellers. Amy, if you get this word correct, we go through to another round and we spell again. If you make a mistake, Marco will be into our top 12. Amy.
pronouncer Amy's next word. The word is racketeer. I don't know how to spell it. Can please have a definition? Someone engaged in an organised, unlawful activity. Racketeer. Racketeer. R-A... C-K... A-T... E... Uh, no. Racketeer. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is R A C K E T E E R, racketeer. Stuart and Joe, would you like to come forward with me right now? That was a really tough round, wasn't it? That means, unfortunately, for you three, that's all over for your time in the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Man, we've had some good times with you guys and you have spelt unbelievably well. And we've had a lot of fun along the way as well, have we not? Yes. It's been an absolute joy having you guys a part of the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Your family and friends are waiting for you backstage. But for now, it's a goodbye and thank you so much for coming and joining us, all right? See you guys. That is super intense, Harpeth, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Are you excited about being in the top 12? Yes! I bet you are. Well done. It's time to head home. Relax. We're going to see you guys back here next time on the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Awesome! We did really, really well. Coming from the top 52 out of a couple thousand, and then, and then changing that to the top 16 is, that's that's a pretty good achievement. We even got medals Hi. with our deal? name on the back of it. To so any of the deaf kids out there, when you grow up, you could be a great person. I mean, you already are, but you could be even better than you are now. Trust me, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Yay! Next time on the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Are you ready to spell? We're going to smash this challenge. Wrinkles aren't broken. Profound. Correct. Concrete. Correct. Profitable. Correct. Bang, 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 bang. Oh. A brand new record. And the excitement is overflowing. Oh. This is so awesome. As winning the spelling bee in the last round. It's very intense. The reward is very high, though. Guarantees one team a spot in the finals. Commemorate. C-O-M.